good YouTube. It's your boy Mr. J Kicks back again. Sorry for the delay. I know I haven't done videos in a while. You know, I've just been busy. Um, today, you know, I'm gonna do some reviews of some of my favorite sneakers. A couple of my favorite sneakers. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Um, much love to everybody out there. You know, that been uh telling me my kicks is real great. So you know that's why I'm here back again, you know, showing some more love, giving y'all some more heat that I got. Hope y'all enjoy it. Um, and like I said, stay tuned because we're gonna do more reviews on about, you know, other than sneakers, we'll do clothes. Um, you know, we'll do reviews on like uh, maybe some music, a lot of different stuff. You know, I just want to keep it real different. So you know, like I said, stay tuned, keep locked in, and you know. Much love, everybody. Guarantee I'll show love back to y'all. So with that being said, let's get into one of the kicks. Um, one of the kicks here is going to be Nike Swaggies. Um, now, this Nike Swaggies was a was a good collaboration that I felt Nike did. When, um, it's a clothing company called Swag. It's a Japanese brand. Real good brand, too. The clothes are real sick. Uh, the great thing I like about this shoe is, if you know, is the fact that the whole shoe predominantly is just nothing but like this real crocodile print leather it's real nice the tongue gives this shoe like a very sick detail because it's very high you can see the check right there beautiful um originally the sneaker was actually supposed to have a lace lock uh they, they scrapped it i don't know why because i think it was a nice idea it was like a big swagger going down the shoe if you know about it i don't know um google these you can see what original what it was looking like uh the bottom Bottom's real nice, as you can see. Flavor's real nice. Um, also, what I like about the shoes, the fact if you look at the back, uh, has like the Nike. You can barely see it because it just blends in with the shoe. That's a nice detail. Um, also, in the inside of it, it has the print of you know my swagger. I guess it's, I think it says my swagger is on. I'm not exactly too sure. I never really like look inside of it to really see exactly what it says, but sick detail though. Um, now. Swagger released these sneakers. It was called the Mint Chocolate. The reason why it was called the Mint Chocolate it was because of the fact that, you know, there was a representation. It was originally supposed to also come in like a like a mint, like a chocolate box. You know, like if you actually buy chocolates. Um, now the other shoe is. This is the chocolate version. The chocolate version is real sick. Um, as you can see with the gold with the gold uh, lace tips, gives it a sick little look there. Um, bottom, same thing as the other bottom, you see, with the real chocolate, good detail. Oh, I just love these shoes. Same thing also with the leather, crocodile, tongue, high. It looks real good with jeans, real good with jeans. Like some, if you like skinny jeans or just regular straight leg jeans, it's real nice with it. Uh, back, same thing. Um... A lot of people hate these sneakers, I guess because of the fact, you know, they look at me funny because, you know, I'm wearing two different color sneakers on my feet. But, yo, this is a sick, sick. This is different. Nice colorway. What can I say? Let's get into the next one. Next one, as you guys should pretty much know already. If you don't, then you've been locked in the closet or locked somewhere. I don't know. Next shoe right here is the Aqua 8. One of my favorite Jordans. This Hands down, one of my top five. Hands down, because it's a it's a pretty much a simple shoe, but it, it gives it like that real, real, real like ill Jordan feel when you put these on, like that old school feeling. I just love these sneakers. Now you see with the black colorway, sick purple side panels. Got the aqua with the purple in there. Jumpman logo. Got the Jordan going on the side and the straps. Of course, no straps right there with the 23 and the cross straps. Six shoe. There's nothing more can I... What more can I say? It's a Jordan retro. What more do you need to know? Let's get into the next one. Uh, this is, these I just recently just bought not too long ago. Probably bought these about no more than a week or two weeks ago. These are the Jordans... Retro True Blue 2009 editions. These are the ones that are only released overseas. Uh, states didn't get these. So, you know, most most people I hate, if you did get these, you probably caught them. If you live in New York, you probably caught the New Flight Club or any other stores like Kicks Exclusive. 
Well, check out Kicks and by the way. Great store in New York. If you ever get a chance in the city, you're by like West Houston. It's like on Mulberry. It's not that far. Check that out. Great store. Um, as you can see on the, you see on the front has that elephant on the elephant print. Not that much different from the, the original ones that came out. Things like 2002. Elephant print on is real sick. Red doing the eyelids. Beautiful. Um, same thing on the side panel right there. Jumpman logo on the front. Also, the Jumpman logo going in the blue with air in the bottom. Um, the only thing about, I don't like about these shoes is the fact that it does crease up on the sides. You can see there. But other than that, what can I say? It's a great shoe, hands down. Also, the Jordan sign going down in the right there, going down through the sole. Real nice. Um, so pretty much today, that's it. So those are my shoes that I'm reviewing. Uh, I will be reviewing a couple more kicks. So like I said, look out for that. And don't forget to read, subscribe, and comment. Stay tuned to more of my videos. Guarantee you won't be disappointed. Much love everybody out there that show me love. You know what I mean? I'm going to show y'all love back out there. So keep it real. I'll holler back. One.